I'm Lex Albrecht with Prem TV. We're in Quebec City right now, and I'm gonna take you guys fat biking in the snow. I found two perfect people to bring us. They're pro mountain bikers. It's gonna be fun. Come on, let's go. Hey Lex, we got a fat bike for you. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> You're gonna have fun on it. So I'm here right now with Vivienne Favry. Actually, this is gonna be my first time riding a fat bike as well. I always wanted to, do, to try it and it's an honor to do this with you and with Raf, he knows so much about it. Well, I couldn't have found some better people to bring you fat biking. I'm used to like skinny, skinny road tires, so this is something totally different. How much uh, pressure did you guys put in my tires? The tires on the fat bike, they're a bit your suspension, so you don't want to go too high, you don't want to go too low, because if you go low, like it's rolling resistance. But rule of thumb, uh, the two extremes would be 10 PSI is really hard for a fat bike tire. Are you serious? You can go as low as 2 PSI to float on the groomed trails that are not like hard pack yet. I ride a little bit better in these kind of trails where people have been walking and it looks like horses have been yeah, through you here too. You want to pick up your line so like you want hard pack okay. so maybe you're better almost on the side of the trail or out of the trails where there's no like footprints. I think that you have a really good like cadence like that, that road speed cadence with flat pedal you might need to like lower it's really hard to have cadence with a fat bike yeah. it's almost too muscular I try not to train too much on the fat bike because you're always like doing a lot of torque. Your cadence is somewhere between 60 and 90 RPM, which is kind of low. Yeah. Which yeah. is closer to what mountain bike is, but not quite, like. It's even lower. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, cool. Hey, what are these buckets on the trees? These? They're collecting sap from the trees. Like when the temperature thaws and it goes like below or above freezing, the sap becomes liquid and it flows through the tree. Okay. Yeah, and it comes through the spigot Ooh. and then it gets collected in this bucket. Mm -hmm. Then after we collect this maple water into a bigger boiler and it gets all boiled down. And then the condensed version of the maple water is actually what maple syrup is made from. You need to boil off 30 to 60 liter of maple water to do that. 30 to 60 liters of maple water to make one liter of maple syrup? Yep, and the Whoa. old version way of doing it is actually you boil it, but now it's a reverse osmosis to remove all that water and keep only like the the gold the gold sugar. Oh cool. Wow. I wonder if we can get some around here somewhere. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guys, come on. So right now we are in Louis Garneau's private maple syrup shack. I show you something, I show you because okay. right now we, we are in production of uh, maple syrup, you know. I want to make a tire sur la neige, what is the expression on Tire sur la neige, I think maple taffy I guess. But this is something that I'm pretty sure does not exist like outside of Quebec. We're gonna make more evaporation to create, you know, like a toffee. Oh. And uh, we're gonna spread the toffee direct on the snow. And that was the candy for the kids, you know. That was like, a, it's, it's a party, you know. It's a, the most special treat ever. It's fun because everybody do that together, you know. Usually you are in the sugar shack. Uh, all the families is uh, around. We uh, cooking, we eat, and then uh, the toffee on the snow, it's... Uh, it's like the dessert to finish uh, off the Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we have just collected some snow and we put it in this box. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do um, to make the tire d'érable, or in other words, maple taffy. Okay, now we have um, these sticks in the snow. And Louis, what are you bringing? Okay, so the maple... Okay, th this, is, uh, this is a maple syrup, you know, after a couple, uh, maybe 15 minutes. 
of evaporation. Okay. So the density is higher right now. Well, that's pretty good. And uh, this is uh, this this is the the candy of the the people here during the colony. That was, you know, a, a party for the kids. And uh, try it, you know. We put on the snow. Oh. And voila. That's good. That's really good. One thing that I love about being in Canada, I really love adapting to all the different seasons. I think sometimes it can be challenging, but usually it's yeah. just a lot of fun, you know? Absolutely. And uh, right now I train uh, on the small road with my fat bike. Uh, not too long, about six times a, uh, a day, uh, six times a week, uh, about 45 minutes, maximum one hour. But fat bike, it's magic. This is my formula to perform Yeah. like an old man. Louis, thank you so much for sharing all like the special historical information with us, showing us like how to enjoy maple syrup so many different ways. It's been really an awesome day. Thank you. Thank you very much.